All right, thank you guys. You can come right this way. gentleman in the front row would say, yeah, buddy. Four-time Olympia champion, Chris. Four times. How's it feel? It feels damn good. It's again hard to explain, but to be completely honest, it feels really beautiful being up here again. And I mean, it felt so good to be pushed by these guys. There's 59 of us on stage, so a round of applause for these amazing competitors and competitors. This submission is so exciting to be a part of it. I'm so grateful to be here and be at the top of it this year. They really pushed me to be my best, and I'm really grateful for that. And, you know, it's been, it's been a beautiful year for me, to say the least. There's been a lot of talk of my retirement for whatever reason. I'm not retiring. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going away. I'm here. I love what I'm doing. So much of hope. But I think it's really kind of beautiful that people thought that because I think it shows that I'm learning to really enjoy the moment and the journey and be present in it because a lot of people don't have the opportunity to kind of enjoy the moment so they look back and realize what they just went through and they're like, wow, that was like, I wish I'd been a little more present and enjoyed that a little bit more. And I think the fact people think I'm done is because I'm actually here enjoying it now. And it's a beautiful thing. I met a friend of mine, Zach Huntinger, uh, this, this summer in June and he had a cancer and he was 19 years old. He was battling for the third time and he told me something that you don't have to be dying to start living. And he was 19 years old, he cancer for the third time, and the most present and grateful man that I had ever met in my life. And I wore his bracelet up until I got my tan every single day throughout this prep and thinking of him. And what he taught me, and it was one of the most beautiful things. And he sadly passed a month after that he had taught me that lesson, but his lessons stick with me forever, and that's something that I want to pass on to everyone, just enjoying the moment, being present, love your family, just like sit here, soak it all in. And I had a moment this morning too where I was on stage and Honey comes up to me, he's like, soak this in. These just moments come once a year and I started crying. I was like, you're so right, like, these moments are so rare and so beautiful. So I'm just trying to enjoy every single one of them. I'm so grateful. There's so many of you guys who love me, that my support team is so big. My fiance now, who's here, loves me, gets me to everything. I love you, Caitlin. My parents are here. My boy Maddie Calvin with me through absolutely everything. Ian, who showed us the road of how to get here. And Hani, who took me on and being in this prep as my new coach. I can't thank you enough. You're crazy, but I love you. You put me through it, and it all paid off. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I'm so grateful. And to the Mannions, Weinberger, Jake Wood, the Olympia, Dan, everyone. Such a beautiful stage, such a beautiful show this weekend. I'm so grateful to be here and be a part of it. Come back next year for number five. I'm ready to rock it. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to be back here next year. I'll see you all again. Chris, you're nothing but a class act, my friend. Congratulations. Four-time Olympia champion, Seafoam in the house.